Yes, Madam Chair, the first item for consideration is item one, ordinance 2024-129 to amend city code concerning compensation and expenses of the members of council and president of council to provide for salary increases authorized by Virginia code. That paper is before this committee. Thank you, uh, Mr. Clerk. And um, we don't have either of the patrons here, but um, just spoken to Ms. Jordan, we'll speak to this briefly. Uh, thank you, Madam President. So the Charter Commission that did a lot of excellent work for the city included a recommendation of increasing city salaries. So this was this particular request was actually part of our charter changes that went to the General Assembly and unfortunately did not make it out of General Assembly this year. During that session, however, there was another piece of legislation submitted by um, a, a representative from another part of the state to allow localities to increase their city council compensation. That has allowed Richmond to pursue this increase. And I think it's important for a number of reasons, and those reasons were paramount and why it was included in our charter submissions. One, you know, this current salary of $25,000 is really prohibitive for a lot of people who may want to consider serving our city. Um, you, there are a lot, that's, you know, either you have to be willing, able to, um, you may forego, you know, a different job or be relying on someone else to make up um, the gap. So I think that's one important reason. Um, additionally, I think we can feel good that the city has taken proactive steps to increase the salaries of our current employees across the city, uh, across the floors. And that includes at RPS, their faculty, uh, their staff, and in fact, school board has voted and passed raising their salaries within the last few months. So I think that puts city council at the end of the list of having taken this step to have a salary that's slightly more in line with, with the heavy responsibilities and work that we put in. There are probably other reasons that I'm forgetting at this moment, but I think this is a good piece of legislation and I appreciate our colleagues President Nye and Mr. Addison putting it forward. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jordan. Thank you for that intro comment. Uh, Mr. Clerk will now proceed with a public hearing on the paper. Yes, yeah, so there's anyone in the day in the chamber who wishes to speak in opposition to this ordinance? Is there anyone in the chamber today who wishes to speak in support? And Madam Chair, no one signed up to speak virtually regarding this item. The public hearing is now closed back to the committee. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Members, any further comment, inquiry, and or are we prepared motion? Uh, I'll make a motion, Madam President, to forward it to full council with recommendation of approval. Second. Mr. Clerk, if you would call the question. The committee is voting on the motion to forward item one, ordinance 2024-129 to council with a recommendation to approve. Ms. Jordan? Aye. Vice Chair Robertson? Aye. And Chair Newbell? Aye. That motion was approved.